Hello people, how you all doing today? Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. I hope all is well with every one of us. I hope you are coping very, very well. Welcome back to my tutorial for today. And for today's classes, we are going to be making a turtleneck skater dress, okay? And I'll be using this fabric for it. I'll, I'll be taking about three and a half yards or four yards of this Ankara fabric for today's tutorial, okay? And then for the lower part, for the skater part, that's the full circle. I'll be cutting it on the floor, all right? So the upper part is going to be a bustier then a turtle neck. It's going to be a sleeveless dress, all right? So let's just get started. Okay, so for the lower part, I'm going to be folding into a full 360 degree circle. Okay. Having folded the first one, this is the first one. I'll fold again the second one. Now my waist is 39, my radius is 6.2, so I will place my radius around here, you already know how to do this one, 6.2. Okay. So this here is my 6.2. So I will now place the measurement of my dress, which is 24 inches. I'll be adding one inch extra for food, or let's say one and a half inches. So I'll be measuring 25 and a half inches. Okay. Okay, so I will now gently cut out, I will fold the fabric to cut out this end that is short. You see, because of the nature of this Ankara fabric, which is usually 45 inches, it wasn't able to get to this place, so I'll have to cut to augment this length. Okay. Alright, so I've augmented the length and it is now the same thing. Okay. Now at this lower part, I'm going in by three inches. Okay. So with my ruler, I'm going to make a straight line to meet my waistline here, just at the back panel. Okay. This is to allow this back to relax. It doesn't have to have any crease by the time I join it and insert the zip. Okay. So I'll use my ruler now to extend the line to meet the waistline here. Okay. 
and then I'll cut it off. This is just for the back. Now we'll move over to the upper part. So for the back panel, I cut this using the measurement of my bust. Okay. Here I have my zipper allowance. My shoulder is 8. Even though I'll be cutting it off later. Okay. One inch shoulder slope. Three inches for shoulder slip also. My armhole is eight and a half. Bust is 42 divided into 4 is 10.5. I'll be adding 2 inches allowance. The waist is 39 divided into 4 is 9.75. And I'll add 3 inches. 1 is for that, then 2 is for allowance. For my back neckline, for the volume, I'll use two inches. And for the neckline, I think three inches is okay. Okay, I'll also cut that off. Right now, for this shoulder, I'll be needing about just two inches. Okay, this other one I don't need it. Okay, two inches away from my neckline. Okay, remember my neckline is five inches, so in all, my shoulder is now seven inches. Sorry, five inches. I hope you get it. Okay, two inches away from my neckline. My neckline was three inches plus these two inches. It will give us five inches. So the remaining three inches here, I will not be needing it. Okay. You just have to put your tape and rule. Now, if you leave it like this, it's going to be very, very sharp. So if I were you, I'll just give it a slight curve so that it's not sharp. So instead of this now, I'll be going with this one. Except you want your back to be a little bit exposed. Okay. Right. So this is it for the back panel. If you still if you still need to move it down, okay for you. But this is just okay for me. So this is for the front and the bustier as well. Okay, my half length is 17. I added one more inch extra for 
the seam allowance. So I have here 18 inches. And then the shoulder we used for the back was 5 inches. So we're going to be maintaining that 5 inches. Okay. This is my normal shoulder. This is 3 inches for shoulder sleeve. Okay, my shoulder to bust is 12 inches. I'll be making it 12 and a half inches. And for my under bust, three and a half inches below the shoulder to bust. And then I also move up three and a half inches. Now my nipple to nipple is 4 inches. My sewing allowance is usually quarter of an inch. So I'll be measuring 4 and quarter. On my actual shoulder, I'll be coming down by 3 inches and then make the right connection. This is just to get it accurate. This is the shoulder I'll be using at the end of the day. Okay. For the neckline at the back, I use 3 inches. I'm going to be maintaining that same 3 inches. And then the volume, I'll use 4 inches. This volume is subject to change. When I join it and it becomes too tight for me, I can choose to reduce it also by half an inch. Okay. So we go back to the side. For the side, remember you ought to have about three inches on this side. So you trace out the shape, mark the notched point. This is three inches. Make a slight curve from here to this point. And then down to the under bust. Okay. Then you take your body measurement. Bust is 42 divided into 4 is 10.5.
10.5 like i always said if you decide not to add any allowance here it's still okay because of this bulge here okay but if you still wish to add that is also fine so i've added one and a half inches which to me is not useful so the waist measurement 39 inches divided by 4 will give us 9.75 plus my 2 inches for allowance so I'm connecting the two I hope you are seeing this marking I am connecting the two okay now my shoulder is eight inches but i will not be cutting it off now i will not be removing this shoulder now i'll remove it after i've joined the center front and the two sides together so with the measurements done now i'll just Cut. So this is what we have as one side. So I also use this to cut the second side. Okay. Now if you look closely, you will see I notched this point. This is our actual shoulder. So by the time I join the two sides together, I will then cut it off starting from this place I notched. I hope it's clear enough. okay now i've proceeded to cut out the wooden for the front i hope you see it this is optional if you like you can make your own very full okay and this is for the two sides all right i'll also go ahead and cut the corresponding lining and line them properly Okay, for this front, when I'm about to join, I'll still show you the way I'm going to be joining it and the way I'll be removing this part of the shoulder, okay? Sorry, people. Um, while I was recording, I didn't know my camera was busy acting up. So everything I did, starting from the lining, did not, was not captured. Okay, so I'll just need to quickly explain what i did we already know how to do a normal lining i closed up this is the armhole area i closed it up down towards the waistline and then the zipper area also i closed that up too then for the front for the front i joined the fabric separately i joined the lining separately i hope you can see it okay and then for the neckline here, I made a slight adjustment. Initially, it was 4 inches, but I extended it to 5 inches because it was tight around my neck. Okay. And then for this armhole area, all I did was just to remember when we were cutting, I notched where our neckline is supposed to end towards this end. I hope you still remember. So all I did was to place my one of the back panels against the front this way and then cut i hope you understand that was the way i cut this front arm hole i placed the back panel just this way assuming this is our front i placed it this way then cut it when i removed the back one and then extended it inwards a little bit 
I hope you understand. I extended it this way. I moved in a little bit so that the, in, the, the, the front side is a little bit inner or deeper than the back side. Okay? So after I did that, I now closed it up at the two sides using my body measurement. Okay? So I'll now go back again and close it up again because I loosened it so that I will explain what I did because of the malfunction of my camera. So I'll go back now to still close it up. Please bear with me. Okay. So I've joined it back. I mean the two sides. The next thing will be to just insert a little uh, something at the neckline for the turtle neck to be complete. I don't want it big. Okay. So first we need to measure the circumference of this neckline. I already did and it gave me 25. Okay. So I folded this pieces of fabric as if you were to cut a circle skirt or a peplum. I folded it. I hope you see it. I folded this way and then this way again. So I'll now measure 25 inches. Okay. So this here is 25, 26 inches as a matter of fact. And then I want something not so wide, like one and a half inches. It's okay for me. So this is what we have. All I did was to open it up at one end. So I'll proceed to cut another one as the lining and then line it first of all. Okay, so this is it. I I showed the inner circle first of all because this outer one is the one we are going to be attaching to the neckline. So I had to first sew the inner circle and then notch it. I'll turn it over this way give it a good press before closing it up Okay, so I will now go ahead and close this one up before we now join it to the neckline. Okay, so next thing will be now to attach this one to the neckline. And I'll be working from the front side, from the right side, this way. I'll just continue to sew it. I'll keep working until I get to the end of the neckline. When I finish, if you have a bias, you can use it to now knitting the rough edge, okay? So I'll go to the machine and start joining it to the neckline of our, of our dress. Okay, so this is it. 
I've inserted it, I've also used my bias to line up the roughness. Okay. All I need to do now is to join the lower part at the waistline. Okay. When I join it, I will then fold the hemline. Okay. And then insert zip and that will be all. So after all said and done, this is what you arrived at. Okay. So as usual, I'm going to try it on. Let's see how good it looks. Okay, people. So this is the end result of our tutorial for today. Check out the back and also the front. You can see how cheeky I'm looking in it. Also check out the sleeveless. This is not the normal sleeve, okay? All right. If you want yours to still go inside, you can go ahead and still move your hand inside so that it exposes your body just a little okay thank you lovely and wonderful people for sticking with me till the end i sincerely appreciate all of you and meanwhile i hope you are staying safe i hope you are taking very very good care of yourself while you are at it why not be creative at home like me i don't go out anymore but i still find time to do one or two things to keep body and soul together i advise that you should do that also just to kill boredom you know to meet in my next tutorial, just know that I will never stop loving you from the bottom of my heart. And whenever I say it, I mean it. Stay safe. Take very good care of yourself. Bye.